Aries, what's going on? Welcome to your monthly reading. This is for March of 2021. Um, welcome to my channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, we do me a weekly and monthly horoscope updates for your astrology sign in love and in life because we believe love is the greatest catalyst to helping you grow, transform, and heal and step towards your greatest soul purpose. So welcome. It's my personal mission as a human being to help you align with your greatest destiny in the areas of health, wealth, and true love. So if you want to be part of the soul family and follow all of us on this adventure, hit that subscribe button and do me a big favor, hit that like button as well as that little bell button. Uh, the like button helps this channel and video grow so we can guide more people, which is the overall goal. And the bell button helps you be notified when I go live, which is every single Sunday. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. It's an amazing event. So Aries, let's get right into your reading. This is going to be a monthly reading again for March. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the ceremony, call on the guides, and just give any channeled guidance without tarot that you are needing to hear for your highest good and healing at this time for the month ahead. And then after that, we're going to get into a channeled love tarot reading. Now, this is if you're looking for clarity in a situation, relationship, or just more so around a certain person. You'll get the clarity here. Last thing, Aries, I'll say is if you want to go deeper and find out where your person is at in the situation, how they're feeling about you, uh, there will be an extended reading in the description box below. You can check that out if you want. All right, Aries, without further ado, let's get right into it. Officially opening the ceremony now between myself and the collective sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Calling on my spirit guides, loved ones, masters, wise ones, angels and archangels, Archangel Michael, Jesus Christ, and Mary Magdalene, as well as the angels and guides responsible for the collective of Aries in particular. Please, Spirit, asking for the clarity and guidance to give whatever channeled insight that Aries needs to hear for their highest good in healing at this time in love and in life. Thank you so much. The ceremony is now open. Let's check in for March 2021 specifically, Aries. At long last, you have become free, Aries. You've become free to step in to your own skin and to shine without remorse, without embarrassment, and without feeling unworthy of being able to shine fully and freely in your own skin. We know what you've been going through has been rather difficult, painful, and tough. We want you to know that it has been essential for you to shine as brightly as you are now able to shine and that without going through what you have been through, you would never have been able to shine as brightly as you are now shining for the world within yourself and for everyone around you. We want you to know that the area of love specifically for you, Aries, has been meant to be a catalyst for you to be able to shine in the way you are now. We want you to know how beautiful you are in your light, how stunning you are, and how much your perseverance and your strength has inspired not only yourself, but others around you. The gift that you have received now is not just a temporary one. It is one you will carry with you for the rest of your life and that others will be amazed by truly. You are the essence of greatness, Aries, and we want you to know that we are so proud of you and everything that you have accomplished and been through. We know it has not been easy, but we promise you it has been worth it. And we know that you feel that now. Thank you so much for everything, for all of your service. And we cannot wait to serve you now and in the future and give you the support you need and are looking for to do all the things you would like to do in this world. There you go. Feels like it's been a long journey, hi huh, Aries? Go ahead and get into the channel the tarot reading. I'm going to be using the uh, Thoth Tarot deck today. Let's get this notebook out of here. I had a couple sessions, one-on-one -on -one live sessions. By the way, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one during a live session, you can check out my website below, brandontobias.com. I do uh, recorded tarot and astrology readings and live one-on-one -on -one sessions if you're interested. Shameless plug. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, some guidance here. So, spirit guides, loved ones, masters, wise ones, angels and archangels, guidance here, clarity for the sign of Aries, sun, moon, Venus rising, for March of 2021 in particular. What do my lovely Aries need to know? Aries. 
Ace of Cups. You know, it's funny. I had a feeling that this was going to pop up. Uh, and I apologize, I'm going to have to rotate this. Okay, there we go. Apologies for the delay. There we go. Now you guys can see it. We have the Ace of Cups here. So quite, quite simply, all right, this is a brand new opportunity and a brand new container when it comes to love. And this isn't just any ordinary container or opportunity. It's the thing that you've been waiting for the absolute most. It's the thing that you've been cherishing, striving for, feeling in your heart that you've wanted and desired for a long time. And it has finally arrived. And it is being offered to you on a cup of everlasting and overflowing love that you could only imagine in your dreams and wildest and greatest visions has been coming to you. And this is the cup as well, I'm hearing, that you have earned through your perseverance, your faith, and your commitment to going and growing through everything you've been going through uh, at this time. So it is offered with more grace, I'm hearing, more grace and generosity than you could have ever imagined would be coming to you for what you are worth and worthy of. Eight of Wands. Okay, the essence of this Eight of Wands is... Um, happening in a way that is most unexpected and uh, coming in a way that is most surprising. Something that you don't know, can't see, and is for the purpose of re being a reward, I'm hearing, right, for what you've gone through, coming through in the most unexpected and glorious of ways, right? So it's like part of the reward for going through everything you've gone through in these past months is coming in the form of a surprise of this offer. Like the surprise itself is part of the reward. That's how great this is. Okay. Even if you're like, well, um, I'd rather know, or I'd rather have known with clarity what was happening or who was coming or what was going go to go on. Uh, they're saying you'll learn to appreciate the fact that it was a surprise more so than if it wasn't. Ace of Pentacles. So not only is this a loving, everlasting cup of love that is coming your way, but it's a very stable cup of love. Um, again, something that you could have never expected being offered your way in the most amazing of ways with generosity, everlasting hope, love, and faith, and stability. Okay, This also could be financially, but I'm really getting it's around love or a relationship. Eight of Cups. Wow. Four of Cups and the six of cups so there was something here in the past that you chose to walk away from okay that was not allowed to come together for some reason maybe it was just your intuition your thoughts your feelings your emotion right um you knew in your heart and your mind that you could not come towards it at this time you could not accept it into your life you could not have it um also yeah, due to the separation, it was kind of like this Four of Cups is like, it, you know, it comes across as something that you really, truly, deeply wanted, though, and you really, truly, deeply desired, and maybe this is something you couldn't understand, like at the time when it was either you had to walk away, or they had to walk away, or there was separation, you couldn't understand, is what I'm getting, this Four of Cups, why that had to happen, or really the purpose behind it. Right? You were struggling with integrating the purpose of not being able to enjoy or have this love that is seemingly appearing to be offered to you at this time in the past here. Having to do with someone from your past here, Six of Cups. Okay. So oftentimes, right, when you see the Ace of Cups, you think, well, this is a new container of love. And it is exactly that, a new container of love. But new containers of love and relationship can be had between people from your past. Now, Six of Cups can classically represent some past life soulmate okay, that you haven't met in this lifetime. Or it can also represent someone who you definitely have met in this lifetime who is a past life soulmate who you have connected with and have been connecting with for a while now. And um, I feel for the majority of us watching, it will be a person who you've been involved with a saga around, okay? A saga and quite a chapter of life and love 
within this within the relationship that you've had okay both energetically and also physically on the earth but six of cups is definitely someone here from your past that has the desire through this separation okay for reconciliation because of the truth of the connection that you two both share no matter what that this connection no matter what is stronger than any amount of separation or sadness or distance that you two may have experienced or created in the past five of pentacles the four of swords the three of cups the seven of cups and the seven of wands three of cups here right in the middle okay shares with me that despite the feelings you may have gone through in the past surrounding the need to separate yourself from someone to have distance and to walk away and to be forced into a situation where you've had to accept what is really with the four of cups is what I'm getting through that situation. Okay. It is allowing the pathway towards joy, love and reconciliation here in the three of cups, more joy and celebration than you ever again thought or imagined was possible. I keep getting that to repeat that with you guys for whatever reason, because it feels like you may not at this time of watching believe that this is possible or for you or something that's still potentially in the making. But I'm here to share with you with all of my heart that it absolutely is, despite the paradox here of the eight of cups of needing to walk away or separate yourself or be separated from the three of cups comes through and because of that courage and persistence. Okay. Because of the per courage and persistence in the connection itself through following your true feelings, the Three of Cups comes out of it as a reward. Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. It took quite a bit, quite a bit, all right, of wrestling with your emotions and the feeling of being alone that there wouldn't be this situation coming forth, that there would be further abandonment, that there was a loss or a lack of the connection, of the reality of this connection that was showing itself in physical reality in the 3D. Okay, it may be something you felt deeply energetically via a soul tie, but in the earth here, right, physically what was happening in reality was not, that was not the case. And it made you feel as if this is never going to happen. This sudden change, this change generally, this communication was never going to happen. And it made you feel lost, lacked, uh, lackluster, and possibly hopeless in a situation, which sent you into a period, four of swords, of healing and reflection, where you took a time out with yourself and your own space and really went through a deep and dark period or night of the uh, dark night of the soul to uh to get some some deep inner work done yeah and this was unfortunately part of the necessary process along with seven of cups the confusion that came through with this process right it was the confusion of this love situation of loving them so deeply but yet being forced to be away from them or separated from them uh, that forced you into a period of deep deep inner healing okay and reconciliation with yourself um, in order to provide reconciliation externally. So it was the inner reconciliation with yourself forced through separation and space here that allows for the external manifestation of reconciliation with uh, your person. Okay. And that person, I think, if you're listening to this, you know exactly who I'm talking about. The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands. You are in some ways tested and uh, through that test learned that it was important that you fought for the truth of this connection that you share between each other in love and um, getting a little emotional speaking about it so it's just um, <laughs> sorry uh, you learned how important it is for, for you to fight for the truth of how you feel in a connection and what you want. And you learn that through the confusion 
uh, of the seven of cups appearing through the forcedness, the forcedness or the forces of separation that you were going through, which led to the two of cups, the magician, the world card, the fool card and the queen of wands. This lesson for you, Aries, although tough, was one of the most essential ones for you to learn to fight and go after what you want, to become the person that is capable of stepping up to choose what he or she wants and to go after it no matter what. No matter what anyone else says, what, uh, what, uh, no matter what anyone else thinks or what anyone else has guided you to believe, you've learned that it is most important to follow and fight for your own feelings and your own guidance in a situation despite the external realities. And you have learned to choose that with the Queen of Wands here and to take a leap of faith towards that. So you've decided here to take a leap of faith towards the truth of how you feel and what you want here in March. The world card here, the end, finally, of a intense love cycle that you've been through with another person. Also, the first thing that came to me with this card, this is called the universe in the Thul tarot deck, but it really means... Uh, that this connection, this story, this, this saga is in some way, shape, or form going to help the world. Uh, it's that powerful of a connection that it's, it's this story that you've gone through together with this person that is going to allow for the world to be helped in a tremendous way via your own and their own and your combined powers of fortitude and truth. So... Um, this whole thing served a much greater purpose than I think you <laughs> know at this time. But you will see that in time. You may see it 10, 20 years from now, but you'll see and look back that this whole story that's been going on, the saga between you two, has been essential for you both to step into your greatest light for the world. Uh, and it will serve a meaning. Your experience here will serve a greater meaning that you don't know yet. And it's very important that you've gone through this. But thankfully, I do feel it's coming to a close. The Magician and the Two of Cups. It's important to know again that your inner, inner reflection and healing and time with yourself has helped you to be able to become clear in your ability to manifest both in life and within this connection. I do feel that this relationship, this connection, this saga has taught you how powerful you are. And part of that power comes in the form of manifestation, magician here. Magically being able to create the life that you want and knowing that your thoughts and feelings and what you choose to believe and go after actually matters a lot. And it's your ability to create that has helped not only this connection to come together, but also for you to create the ultimate ideal lifestyle and life that you want. If you've been following this channel, it's been quite a journey. But it's that strength, that power, that confidence you have as the overall outcome here in the last row that will serve both the world, yourself, your partner, and everyone around you in the greatest and most amazing of ways. So congratulations, truly. This last row is reserved, as you know, if you've been watching this for a long time, for overall outcome, for advice, context, and clarity from spirit. And you have some of the most powerful and loving cards that are in the deck. Magician, Two of Cups, the World card right in the middle, the Fool, and the Queen of Wands. And the World card, again, just to reiterate, in this deck, right, the feeling that I get is that this, you are ready. You have gone through the initiation required both to accept this love into your life and to receive it, but also to greatly and tremendously impact the world around you in the ways that you were destined to. So thank you. Overall outcome card. It's the tower, the chariot, and the eight of swords. <laughs> it almost seems too good to be true, doesn't it? <laughs> That things could shift so quickly and move forward so fast. 
that it's almost something you don't want to believe, right? That it's almost too good to be true. And what I'm really feeling guided to share with this final outcome card is you may be watching this reading and you may be in a situation where you're like, yeah, but I've heard it all a million times before, Brandon. And what makes this time any different? What makes this month any different from the last? And um, I'm not sure at this point as I'm reading, it's it's almost the end of February at this point that I'm recording this. But I do know that something is different. And it's the feeling that I'm receiving and getting through this own reading, this reading itself, that makes this different. And I'm sure you guys can feel the difference in my energy as I channel this. It is no BS or hypey stuff or just a fairy tale. And there's been a lot of tough stuff that you know you've gone through as a result of this situation. But at the same time, when this does come forward, when this person does come forward, when this situation is ready to take you forward with it, to pull you into the next chapter of your life together, to create all the magic that you're here to create. All I'm asking you to do when that moment happens is to open your heart and to trust and to believe and to allow it to take you with it. And don't let all of this pain and the struggle that you've gone through to go to waste because it is here and it is very real. And it's going to come out of nowhere, the tower card, and it's going to seem like this is like crazy and we're moving along fast and it's just here to take me and i don't know this might be too good to be true i'm not sure if i can trust it even if you as you listen to this that might be the thoughts going through your head but i'm here to say trust it because it is real and it is meant for you bottom of the deck we have the prince of cups the queen of cups the prince of swords the emperor the hanged man and the six of swords there will be no there will be no uh, trace of the elements of the past that you've shared with this person and what i mean by that is there won't be any of the negative juju the negative stuff that has clung to you guys and your relationship throughout this time it will be cleansed and it will be cleared and that is the period of that is what you're going through right now you're going to the cleansing period and this person has gone through the cleansing period too can we clarify the ace of cups spirit please you are ready aries don't doubt that Ten of Wands, the Prince of Discs, and the Ten of Cups. There you go. Ace of Cups leads to the Ten of Cups. You have nothing to worry about. Ten of Wands, you can finally, 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 after all this time, let go of the burden that you've been holding on to and the worry and the concern about this connection because at this time, this person, whoever this person is, the princess of discs, whoever this person is, earth sign likely, this is your person. And they are ready to pick up the burden and share it with you <laughs> to create the ultimate reality, Ten of Cups. And... They're not just the princess of discs, but apparently the queen of discs as well. Who share the same vision and ultimately want to create the same thing with you and by your side. So there you go. Justice has been served. This is the month where it all begins. The very beginning. Ace of Pentacles leads to the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups leads to the Ten of Cups. Probably the best reading I've ever done, Aries. And I do a lot of readings. But um, someone is ready to 
to share this life vision with you, to be by your side, has realized that you are their king or their queen, whatever you relate to. And they are ready to give you the seed of what can grow into the best possible life you've ever lived. Okay? I love you, Aries. Thank you for holding space as I went through that tremendous um, reading for all of us. And uh, I hope it gives you the clarity, inspiration, and guidance you're looking for. If you want to go deeper with me and work with me personally, check out my website, brandontobias.com. If you want to go further into this reading, although I'm not sure we need to at this point because it feels so clear, uh, check out the description box for the extended reading below. And follow me on Instagram at BT Speaks. I do a lot of live readings and posts on there that you guys would probably like. Thanks so much, and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.